This is the Belles River, first descent with a lot of water in it from the Tana Belles project. It's coming out of Lake Tana. Nice warm water. What is it? Probably 4,000 CFS. The Belles River is a major tributary of the Blue Nile that joins it close to the Sudan border near the end of the Grand Canyon section. The Belles River begins close to Lake Tana where the high plateau of the lake drops steeply down toward the canyon below. Based on access points, the valleys can be divided into three general sections, an upper, middle, and lower. It used to be raftable only in the rainy season from June through November, but a new hydroelectric project has changed its flow regime. Previously, all water out of Lake Tana would flow into the Blue Nile, on average 116 cubic meters per second most of the year. However, starting in 2013, the Tana Bellis project was completed with a 12-kilometer tunnel diverting the lake water into the uppermost Bellis River, dropping the water 325 meters into hydroelectric power plants. Now, most water from Lake Tana passes into the Bellis River rather than the Blue Nile. While the upper Blue Nile is often very low in the dry season and not fun for rafting nor as beautiful at Tissasat Falls, the Belles receives a high flow all year long, making it probably the best rafting river in Ethiopia during the dry season. First big rapid, looks like a good three, almost a four, a big wave to punch through. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to try and go on the right side. It's a little weaker there, but it is. Big, steep wave. Looking some water from my ramen here on the Bellies River. So I ended up putting in on the Bellies River, about 60k upstream of the uh, main bridge crossing by Gogo Bellies. Paddled down maybe 10, 15 kilometers. I gotta take a look at my GPS. But very nice river, it's got a lot of water in it, tons of play spots. Saw a few people along the way coming down getting water. And the river, the first section below that bridge, it's kind of in a gorge, a lot more isolated. So a few little side streams coming in with little clear trickles of water. Um, and it opened up a bit for maybe 5k, and then it closed in just a little bit more. And that's the section I'm camping in a few k into that. Maybe less people around here. I don't know. Or I found a nice high beach. Um, just downstream of where I saw a bunch of baboons. I never got so close to baboons before. They were right there on the side of the river. Saw a lot of grivets. Haven't seen any crocodiles in the river. Water's nice and warm, fairly clear, clean. Uh, just pretty fun river.
Like the Blue Nile, the lower part of the Bellies River is due to be flooded by the Gerd Dam starting in 2018. Another dam is proposed just upstream that would flood an additional 50 kilometers of the river. Even if the Dangora Dam is completed, over half of the Bellies River will remain an incredible river to raft and kayak. However, we are advocating to protect the remaining Bellies River and will offer last descent trips as long as possible through its lower gorge section so more people can experience it and we can generate more advocacy for its protection. Thank you.